Hey people, welcome back to Delroy's Garage. Okay, the final push. You saw this last night, uh, ran out of time, got to quarter to nine at night, and it was well cold, was about 16 degrees in the end, and that's too cold to paint. So, what do we got now? We're at 18 and a half, and much better. The rain's come in again, it's got back wet and horrible, uh, but it's still 18, and that's still cool. This has also gone off overnight. Um, it's actually made quite a nice finish, real shiny, and that's going to behave better. I would have just carried on laying it up, put six coats on that, would have been finished. But as it was, as I said, run out of time, so I've had to stop. So there's only two coats on it, and I'm just going to literally give a little bit of 1200 paper and just scotch those up, just get a nice key into it, gently not to take any real material off, just to put a little key in the surface, and then I'm just going to lay up six coats of satin black and a little extra thing. Might lacquer it. Not sure, got a little bit of lacquer left, who knows. Okay, let's get it scotched up, scuffed, ready to start painting again. Stick around. Okay, got it all rubbed down, keyed up the surface. Just ready for the new paint to stick. Just a quick point on that, the primer that we all use is porous and it's job is to allow the top coat paint to actually ingress and sink into its surface and act as a bond but this top coat is not it's completely sealed so I've got to make sure that that is properly keyed up and prepared because if it's not you'll just get fish eyes and runs and it won't stick and it'll be a mess uh, it's a shame I couldn't continue last night it would have been lovely just to have coat this up and forget it and done but there you go that's the way it works and that's all done now, just like a sheeny scratched up finish. Actually, it, it does have the benefit of, of now making it a better part. Uh, it's better than it was now. It's a smoother finish than it would have been. So it's improved for the sake of the, the little setback. So it's going to heat all the inside, get the old hair dryer in there, dry out all that water and surface dampness, get rid of all that. And it will also warm up the part nicely as well because again it is still only 18 degrees and as you can maybe hear on the roof it's chucking it down so we're going to see how it goes like I said I wasn't initially too worried about it but a bit of a perfectionist I like the paint to be correct so let's get cracking see if I can make a good job of this Time to play. Let's see how we go. Tack coat first as ever. The light one to stretch out and do decky. Nothing too much. I've explained that tack coat before. It's just an initial thin coat that stretches out, goes tacky and thin, and leaves a perfect layer for the actual games to begin. That's all it needs. With that five minutes to flash off, not the usual 15 because I still want to paint that while it's tacky. So five minutes to go. I've explained that tack coat before. It's just an initial thin coat that stretches out, goes tacky and thin, and leaves a perfect layer for the actual games to begin. That's all it needs. With that five minutes to flash off, not the usual 15, because I still want to paint that while it's tacky. So five minutes to go. Okay, tack coat's flashed off, first proper coat. I 
that's it. Right, 15 minutes. Number two. Okay, another 15 minutes, and another, so be careful not to put too heavy a coat on, it's really raining outside so it's really damp, and that leads to bloom, uh, like a white crust that you get over it, and it just ruins the paint job, it's just a case of patience, and build them up, thin coat at a time. Right, another 15 minutes. Okay. Keep layering it up. Hmm. There we go again. Okay, and there it is finished. I had to move on real quick um, because it's it's so horrible outside. Uh, the weather's just sort of caved in all of a sudden. Check that out. It's just howling with rain. Really, really windy, and the moisture and humidity went up so much. This thing was just blooming. Every single coat was blooming up and going white. So it was either abandon it and do it again another night, or just try this little trick. So all I've done is I laid it up with a really super heavy coat probably too much it may even possibly i think it hasn't run but it is definitely very very heavy and i brought it indoors it went down to 14 and a half degrees so it's just going on like stodgy porridge you know and it's just going to be a disaster if i kept going so one coat it's now got seven thick coats with yesterday's sort of flatted down to one yesterday's two coats flatted down to one then six today seven heavy coats it is sat in paint so it's going off quite nicely. It was getting a, a white ring of bloom in the center, which is common when the moisture gets to it. Um, and it was about 14 degrees outside, brought it in here. It's 21 and rising. So that should have half a chance at not blooming now. So there we go, that is it finished. All I've got to do now is leave that to dry. I'm gonna give it 48 hours. In the daytime it gets up to about 30 degrees plus in here. So that will do it good, get it baked right off, and then fit it on the bike, that's all that's left to do. So there'll be just a quick 10 minute one, five minutes of seeing it on the bike. Other than that, there it is, Project Belly Pan. Fabricated, prepared, painted, finished. That's it. Just gonna get it dried off, bolt it on the bike. Okay, thanks for tuning on and watching Delboy's Garage. See you next time.